morning it is the earth master back here on this friday night uh, august 11th 2023 it's about 10 p.m here west coast time california time and latest activity looks like a 2.8 uh, around the mediterranean region just west here of turkey the latest quake on the globe looks like they did have some three stirring up there around the turkey area earlier today all right so uh look Looking at the West Coast region here, got one little earthquake down off the San Jacinto Fault Zone, just outside the Borrego Springs area of Southern California. Not really seeing too much activity ramping up here, but uh, we did see a uh, little earthquake just off the southern tip of the San Andreas Fault at 1.7 earlier this afternoon as well. Uh, not a whole lot of movement currently taking place there in Southern Cal around the long valley super volcano a couple earthquakes there from this morning mostly smaller microquakes keen up there in that area and uh not you know it's probably going to be the wording tonight is not a whole lot of activity at least for the west coast region uh, let's check out the trimmer map here tonight cascadia trimmer zip zero nada the zero is the famous number here for the past couple days far as trimmer count goes notice the declining here in the trimmer event it's been uh coming up almost on a year now since we've seen any type of uh really elevated trimmer activity there along the cascadia yellowstone national park about the same as well uh, let's go ahead and key up the seismos here uh did see some slight activity earlier this afternoon some very small microquakes mainly around the uh northwestern corner of the park there in wyoming but aside from that we're not seeing anything significant ramping up uh, let's go back here where'd that go there we go uh, looks like maybe a little earthquake activity over here as well near the pelican cove region uh, just around the lake yellowstone area that's going to be that seismic signature right there it looks a little bit larger than some of these other earthquakes that are popping up uh, potentially maybe a mid one a 1.5 or so on the magnitude scale but notice it didn't really pick up too much over here across the, the western corner of the park more so uh looks like around the lake butte area but i don't believe uh the usgs has mentioned anything about it um because <clears throat> this earthquake right here was earlier this morning a 0.9 and this earthquake i just showed you more recent within the last hour or so and i just don't see it showing up all right uh new madrid seismic zone i know this is a new quake here because this wasn't up here on my update earlier 2.3 near tiptonville tennessee right smack dab in the hazard zone there of the um well the new madrid seismic area that's um, definitely a major play in producing some large earthquakes but for now uh she sleeps just a little small microquake activity there today uh around the caribbean plate here a couple smaller quakes keying up not really see anything major going on uh you know clustering obviously that's going to be a common issue there across the region i don't see a a whole lot of pancaking going on across the uh, gulf of fonseca area just some uh quakes in the three range around the middle america trench same for about the south america region though um look at this one earthquake being reported <laughs> on the usgs map but as you can see there's quite a few threes in there and uh, what looks like maybe a uh is that a four pointer up here 4.1 103 kilometers deep uh just a couple hours or so ago in that area new zealand tonga solomon islands all that area very quiet now uh looks like things are uh just at a temporary pause across that region uh there is a newer quake coming in it looks like into the japan area that's along the northwestern corner here of the filipino plate uh so that's some newer activity to take note of but uh oh, there it is there, there's a green flag i was looking for that 1.0 up, up into the uh, alaska area so we'll continue to watch this area around the filipino plate it has been showing some movement that's going to be this area right here surrounded by the red line in uh somewhat of a diamond shape i guess or triangle one of the two uh, a little bit of activity stirring up here on the northwest corner of the park that's a sign that or the park <laughs> the plate 
That's a sign that there's some pressure building up out here across the Izu Trench and the Mariana Trench area. General plate motion here uh, shows us that uh, it's, well, obviously generally to the northwest when we look at plate movement here in this region. A little scattered activity throughout the Java Trench and uh, Afghanistan keying up. There's some, uh, some deeper quakes out there in the eastern area of uh, Afghanistan. There's that movement out in Turkey. Not a whole lot of movement throughout the Atlantic Ocean for now. Uh, quick glance at the space weather activity. We did see things uh, kicking up slightly here around the KP index of 3 or so. Not really seeing it on this map. Um, but it was stirring up here slightly across the auroras. Let me key up uh, Space Weather Live is another cool site to uh, keep tabs on, uh, you know, aurora activity. Also, they have a neat little percentage uh, program here. Gives you a good uh, percentage far as seeing or, or what your percentage is of seeing the auroras. Uh, you know, from your location, uh, Europe and Asia, Southern Hemisphere, and so on, North America. Not a whole lot of potential here today. It doesn't look like anything uh, across the area of the states. 1% in North Dakota, but things are, again, pretty, uh, pretty minimal right now. Uh, KP index stretching up to, well, looks like barely a 2 level. So things aren't uh, too active right now. And the flaring activity across the sun is continuing to decline. Although some slight flaring picking up here, it looks like, um, maybe from one of these far side sunspots. About the only one that's noteworthy to watch here in the coming days is the uh, sunspot number 3395. It's been showing some, some type of growth here with the uh, complexity of the cores. Notice those uh, colored regions there popping off and uh, looking a little bit more dynamic also back behind that one sunspot. But aside from that, uh, we are left with some very quiet conditions prevailing across the eastern limb of the sun. Not for sure um, what that's going to look like in the coming days. We'll just continue to watch that though. Right, right now, 99% chance for a C flare, M flare at 25, X flare around 5% chance. And again, no major corona holes facing us. No major subsequent CMEs from any of these weak flares recently. So therefore, very minimal conditions there across the three-day geomagnetic forecast. Uh, don't forget tonight, folks, the uh, uh, Perseid meteor shower. Uh, if you got dark skies, it's dark out here right now. Man, mosquitoes are horrible out here in my neck of the woods here in Northern California. I got spray on and they're just attacking me. So I'm not for sure if I'm gonna be able to get out there tonight and get any star shots or meteor shots, I should say. But um, if you do have clear skies, I would definitely, and you don't have a huge mosquito population like I do here, uh, I would get out there and see if you can uh, spot these meteors, maybe up to 100 meteors per hour tonight. And tomorrow night are the peak after that, yeah, you'll still be able to see them for an extended amount of time as the Earth uh, travels through the dust from the comet that it uh, passes through every year, that the dust from the comet, so to speak. And um, uh, let's see here. It looks like mainly clear skies here across Northern California. Sacramento got a little bit of high clouds coming in. Uh, but yeah, Pacific Northwest all up through big sky country, Montana. If you're up there in Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, North Dakota, South Dakota, get out there. See if you can see some uh, meteors popping off. Uh, Texas area looks clear as, as well, but quite a few thunderstorms blown up here at night around the Missouri area, Arkansas, and Oklahoma region. So uh, again, see if you can uh, check them out. I'm, I might shoot for tomorrow. I'm really, really drained today. I'm just tired for some reason. I'm not for sure why. It comes and goes. Uh, but Friday night, I think me and Missy Mimi's are going to call it a night this early, 10 o'clock. Actually, it's a little past my bedtime. I prefer to go to bed around 9 or so. Um, anyway, we're coming up again here already. I can't believe it. On the member drawing here in four days, on the 15th of August here, we'll be giving away uh, some prizes there to the members who are um, on this channel. And also getting very close here to the uh, 100,000 subscriber 
uh, giveaway. Here's just a little bit of information on the uh, meteor shower, but uh, I did put that out earlier. Anyway, um, yeah, so we'll look forward to that coming up here on the 15th and uh, getting pretty close here to the 100,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, somebody was telling me about a hurricane coming into the Gulf. Let me check this here. I believe it's around the 27th, and that's why I'm saying a lot of times we got to be very careful with putting out you know information far as hurricanes go this is a rather strong hurricane out here on the pacific side uh, just off the tip of baja california around the 20th but that's probably going to continue to go west out into the pacific waters now around the 27th is what someone was saying i don't even see that up here it hasn't even uh we'd have to go back one more run from Friday to be able to see that the 27th time period it doesn't even look it looks like that's already disappeared with that run so that's why I'm saying you know don't believe a lot of the stuff you see on the internet as far as weather patterns way out there you know that's the 27th or so is at the end of this month and we're just here barely on the second week of August so take everything you see with weather patterns here with a grain of salt now if it showed a hurricane here three days from now uh, then in this model then obviously that'd be a little bit more accurate and then we can pinpoint potentially that the, the uh, path of where that hurricane could be going but uh, you know these weather models are good for only a couple days here in the future the long trim trend models uh, meaning uh, high pressure systems low pressure systems are a little bit more accurate but this doesn't really pinpoint hurricanes doesn't really pick up hurricanes this kind of gives you a, a general indication of where the pressure differences are and today was friday it was actually nice and cool today if you call 92 nice and cool tomorrow we're going to be 100 as high pressure system dominates the pacific northwest and that includes northern california as well with some hot temperatures it's going to last for a few days or so uh, after that, it looks like potentially maybe some cooler air, unsettled conditions coming in. Again, this is on the 20th. This is just a weather pattern forecast model, uh, but it does show the high pressure system moving aside and uh, developing a trough out here across the West Coast, which would be cooler, much cooler conditions. So I'm hoping, very hopeful. I'm, I'm done with summer. Um, I don't, I don't like it. I like it for about two weeks, you know be able to get the garden going maybe swim for a little bit but after that i am done i am done with summer so i say bring on the winter time all right folks um i think that's it like i say earthquake activity we've got something brewing up in alaska here pretty uh recent a couple minutes ago 3.3 near the cantwell alaska area uh just outside denali up against the brook the alaska range excuse me a major fault system up there uh, but for now, you know, as far as looking at seismic um, areas of interest, the quiet zones, I believe, uh, and that includes areas right here. You can see them very drastically on the globe. Um, so with a little bit of adjustment going on up here across the Western Pacific plate and adjacent plates here, um, that will, obviously, that will affect some, some regions down here as far as movement goes. 3.5 Java Trench area as well coming in within the last uh, 10, 15 minutes. So uh, yeah, pay attention here. Across the Tonga, Fiji area, Kermadec Trench, you know, it's a big swath of a plate boundary that's gone awfully quiet. And we'll catch you guys back here tomorrow. Please stay safe out there. It's Friday night, a lot of, a lot of craziness going on out there. I'm, uh, you know, my days of partying are long gone. I, I don't like even going out at night tend to just stick behind my gate and uh you know keep the tv on or youtube on we're just looking at earthquake activity starting up my starting up my semester already my fall semester by the way um coming up next week already holy smoke so i'm i am um my vacation far as school goes is ending very soon I think I start here on the 17th, the first day, 16th of August. So that's coming up on um, Wednesday. 
goodness got a few few days left but i am going to be picking up some more classes in geology um california geography and um one uh, two other physical science classes can't remember the name of them but um just figured i'd chime in with you guys what i'm up to all right so we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later tomorrow have a good night and please stay safe out there everyone take care